Dobrodočeno vsem na našem petem zaporednem srečenju. Se nahajamo ne posledno pred Binkoštno devetnevnico, tako da upam, da ste temu primerno razpoloženi. Torej, naše razpoloženje veselje se bliža vrhuncu in klicanje se da se kaj doha. Res povabim, da predvsem teh dneh, pred Binkoštmi, upravite tudi dobro dohom pogovorje s kovet, če je nemožno. Druga stvar, kateri bi vas prosil, je, da vsi tisti, če ima kdo pričevanje, skraj pričevanje v zvezi s tem, kar se je dogaja tukaj, te dni, te tedne, bi vas lepo prosil, da pridete med srečanjem ali pa tudi na koncu srečanja, bodi si do mene ali pa do Mateja, tam ne. Skratka, in poveste svoje pričevanje. Če ima kdorkoli kakršno pričevanje, kakršno kori pričevanje, o tem, kaj je Bog naredil njegovi življenju med našimi srečenji, med molitvijo, med slavljenjem, ali v toku teh tednov, ko se sem čujemo, lepo prosim, da pričujete, da nam poveste, pričujete v Božjo slavo. Ne zaradi nas, ampak zaradi slave Boga. V redu? Lepo prosim, da to naredite. Potem pa še bom vedel tudi kasneje še enkrat, ko bo, do crv bomo naredili tudi na Birko, med nami imamo že gosta, za konca bo Dehino, tam ne znam, Mateja sedite in boste potem videli, ko bo moj imel program. Skratka, bomo naredili tudi na Birko, zato da bomo pač pokrili tudi stoške, ne samo našega večera, ampak tudi vsega tega dogajanja v teh tednih. Tako da zdaj bom predal, vidite pred menoj, za menoj tukaj eno veliko skupino slavilcev, tako da se že veselim, vsega tega, ki bomo danes od njih tudi prijeli, njihovo veselje, predanost Bogu. In res se razpodlili nas vse, da damo vse od sebe v tem smislu, da se, tako kot sem v zanč povedal, misel svetega oboština. Torej, da se vadimo za to, kar nas čaka v nebesi. Se pravi, ne moramo prideti tja, če nismo že tukaj v nekaj smisel vzeli neke šole in nekega treninga. Torej, še zdaj vadimo za to, kar nas čaka v večnosti. Torej, predam besedo naše prijatelje. Dobro večer, dobrodošli. Jaz sem prepričala, da zdaj se naš kočka, naš koče veseli, ker vidi, da tako občestvo, ki ga slavi, ki ga časti, to mora biti nekaj čudovit, ki ga tudi zalga. Pa začnimo vse skupaj v njegovem imenu. Amen. Očeta, sina in svetega doha. Amen.
Твоя вина. Не се дава да ти да чудеш, не се дава да ти да проблеми. Твоя част, Господ. Господ, Твоя ми не го слава. Не за да се гърга с дъждина, а за да се гърга с дъждина, Господ. Че ми начин да живим, а да не видим, че ти ще ви имам радост сам, Господ. За да да следим, къс си бриве, къс си могучен, къс си на доса. Само ме тквиц, патър ми е споведници, като да е да воля за спор.
nimam moj za zdav kruha iz nebes, ampak moj oče vam daje resnični kruh iz nebes. Boži kruh je nam več tisti, ki prihaja iz nebes in daje svetu življenje.
Zahvaljujem se gospodu, ker te vzgrajo, te težav, nekaj, vloči ne bojo nekaj. Zahvaljujem se gospodu za to zdravljanje. Amen, gospodu. Amen, zahvaljujem. There was a good Catholic man 
и е добър католички мост. He was very devout person. Ке би разро предана себе. And one day he died. И никога не е умрел. And he went to heaven. И не шел на беса. And at the door there was Saint Peter. И прорадите ви Сети Петър. And Saint Peter asked this man. И Сети Петър праша тега мужа. Who are you? Кто си ти? And this man said, what do you mean, who I am? And Saint Peter told him, are you charismatic? Are you from the Legion of Mary? Are you from this movement? And this old man said, I, I, I don't know. I, и тази стари може да ви даде. Why are you asking me? Сега ме смешуваш. And St. Peter told him, because here in heaven, кърсти на Тома Свети Петър е хор, за тока тук е да веси. Everybody stays with the people of his movement. Осак остане с тук и за людми и с негове да ги бъде. And you spend eternity with your people. И своими людьми и стига гиба не може да преживе в вечност. So you have to decide. Що да се можеш да дочер. Wherever you want to go. Там хочеш я. And this man told him, but show me a little bit before, because I have to spend a day with them. И там може да реку, я поведи мая веч, па ми покажа, къде я злом с тем, кое с тем ми преживе в вечност. And so St. Peter took him to this big room, и Свети Петър да пелехте велики скупини. And there were people praising the Lord. И те люди са славили Бога. Shouting. Упили. And singing. Пели. And this man told St. Peter, who are these people? И там може да праша Свети Петър, до са те люди. Oh, he told him, these are from the region of men. И му е рекал Свети Петър, те са звали на леги. And this man told him, can I see other hosts? И там може му е реку, Петър ми лако покажеш другия. And he took him to another fall. И га отпели в други place, в друга му краю. And they were the same, shouting and praising God. И тук и са убили и кричали и стави Бога. And told him, who are these people? И не реку, до са те люди. Oh, they come from St. Vincent de Paul. И те са те прихали от света гравин Санта Павла. And all the all the places where he was taking him, they were all praising God and shouting. И там на поле Петър пел, те га можа, оси са люди са причали и славили Бога. And then he took him to another hall. И потен га е пели от друг шутник. And all the people there were sleeping. И там са били те са спали. И спричали. And he told him, who are these people? И не обращат, но са па те люди. And he told him, these are the charismatics. Но са charismatics. How come that they are, all the others are praising God, and these people are sleeping? И не обращат, Петър, какво то да са на веса стави Бога, а те не има стил? And St. Peter told him, because when they were alive, и Петър му е говорил, кер, кога са били жили, They praised so much the Lord that when they came to heaven they are tired now and so they sleep. So whenever you need to praise the Lord whenever you need to praise the Lord don't be afraid To shout and let the spirit work in you. Не не да се мол на род да ви пили и славили Бога, не вам да по на род на род да ви пили вас. I have had many occasions to go to several countries. Ми е само да приложи да стига до туе по многи държави. Most especially in Africa. Ше го се мол Африки. I was just there last January. Ше прешни Африк се бита. In Ghana. В Гане. And Whenever I go, I see people like us, like you, filled with the Spirit. 
They don't have a place, beautiful place like this. Neither the beautiful instruments. But they are full of despair. And that's the most important thing. So this evening, we will talk about the Holy Spirit and about what happened and what happens to us when we are open to the Holy Spirit. But first, let us share a little prayer. So I invite you to join hands in Lord Jesus Christ, Господ Иисус Христос, we are few days before the feast of Pentecost. Смоле некои дни пред празникот на Пентекостот. And this evening we are preparing our hearts for this big feast. И тази вечер приправямо своя сърце на тази велик празник. When you ask the Father, който ти просиш от чета, to send the Holy Spirit on the disciples, да пошли света като хана ученце. We ask you this evening, тази вечер те просим, that during these days, да пошли от тези дни, you will fill us, нас напълним, with your Holy Spirit, с твоя свети духа, with the zeal of your Holy Spirit. With the power of your Holy Spirit, with the holiness of your Spirit, so that we might become disciples, the apostles, and apostles of your Son Jesus. Amen. Amen. If I have to ask you a simple question, what is the greatest need that you have right now? Maybe you have a financial difficulty. Or maybe you have a health problem. Hey. He speaks good English, eh? <laughs> and I speak very good Slovenian. I understood that he made a mistake. <laughs> now, maybe you have a problem with your family. <laughs> and the greatest need is <laughs> that you solve that problems in relationship. <laughs> Or maybe you have a, a spiritual problem. God is far away from you. You are not feeling anymore the spirit in your life. What is the greatest need in your life? Once I ask this question to a group like you, and one young man came afterwards. And he, he told me, my greatest need is to find a woman so that I can marry. Maybe that is your greatest need. Think about it a little bit. What is your greatest need? Think about it. Now we ask a second question. What is the greatest need of the church today? We see so many problems in the church. We see so many, at least I speak about my country. Every year people go to church less and less. Half of marriages are not done anymore with the church. Some people don't even baptize their children. 
We have so many few vocations for the priesthood. What is the greatest need of the church? We may think that we need more priests. Or we may need more workers. Or we need more money in the church. Or maybe we need more young people in the church. These are all great needs. These are all important needs. But this evening I would like that we reflect together on another important need. A pak ta večer vypadá, da se skupaj vzrema na drugo pomembno potrebo. What about that the greatest need that we have in the church is the power of the Holy Spirit? Kaj, če je moc Svetega Duha največja potreba crkve? Maybe the greatest need that, in, that you have, the greatest need that you have personally, mogoče največja potreba, vaša osebno, is some financial problem that we talked about. Yes, financial problem But the greatest need that you need in your life right now. About potreba, is that you receive a new power of the Holy Spirit. Last Thursday. It was the feast of Ascension. Prešli četrtek je Ascension, ne pohod. Praznik, ne pohod. And you know what we read in the Gospel? In veste, kaj ste brali v Evangeliji? It's the last words that Jesus said to his disciples. Zadnje besede, ki je Jezus izreka s ovim učencem. He told them, wait! Rekel je, počakajte. For the gift my father has promised you. Na dar, ki vam ga je obljubil moj oče. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Prijeli boste moč, ko bo Sveti Duh prišel na vas. That is the greatest need that we have. In to je največja potreba. In our life. V našem življenju. In our church. V našem cerkvi. That is the greatest need that we have in our parishes. To je največja potreba, ki imamo naši župnija. In our associations, in our groups, skupina. In our convents. V naših samostanjih. Unfortunately, na žalost, Christianity has been watered down. Se je hrščanstvo razvodenilo. And this solution is so weak. Imagine that you have poison. And you add water to it. In the diet of water, but that's true. In such a way that it will not kill anyone in this place. Or imagine that you have a medicine. And you add so much water. In the dust the talk of water. That it will not be effective anymore. That's what happens to many of us. To se nam zgodi mnogim od nas. We have received the Holy Spirit. Mi smo prejeli Svetega Duha. We can receive the sacraments every day. Lahko sprejemo sakramente vsak dan. But where is the power? A pa kje je moč? Where is the presence of God in our life? Kje je prisotnost Boga v našem življenju? Imagine that you have a car, a beautiful car. Predstavljate se, da imate čudovit auto. A Mercedes. Mercedes. Or a Bugatti. A Bugatti. Huh? But you have no fuel in it. What will happen to the car? Can you drive that car? Yes, you can. You can push it. <laughs> but that's not what that car was made for. So we need the spirit. Give the spirit to that car. The fuel to that car. 
And that's what we need in our life. To potrebujemo v našem življenju. We need the fire of the Holy Spirit. Radimo ogenj Svetega Duha. An English great uh, preacher once said, en velik angleški pridigar je nekoč rekel, get on the fire for God. Uždite se za Boga. And people will come to see you burn. And people will come. People will come to see you burn. You know Moses, what happened to Moses when he was in the in the desert? What attracted the attention of Moses? Attracted the attention. It was the burning bush. And that's what the Spirit will do to us. In to je, kar nam bo Sveti Duh naredil. He will change us into burning bushes. Spremenil nas bo v goreče grbe. If we read this book, če beramo to knjigo, and we read, most especially, the acts of the apostles, in še posebej, če beramo apostolska dela, for, for, I, I suggest to you, that you read this book, it's an important book of the Bible, the book of Acts. Svetuje vam, da preberete to knjigo, je pomembna knjiga, apostolska dela. There we can find what happens to a person that is full of the Spirit. Tukaj lahko vidimo, kaj se zgodi z vsebo, ki je napolnjena sredi tukaj. Look what happens to the apostles. Poglejte, kaj se je zgodilo z apostoli, ko bi moštni. Jesus told them to wait and pray. Jezus je rekel, ne čakajo in molijo. Together with Mary. Skupaj z Marijo. For nine days they were praying. In molili so devet dni. And then on Pentecost Sunday the Spirit came. In na to navinkošno nedeljo je prišel Sveti Duh. And what happened? In kaj se je zgodilo? Miracles start happening. Čudeži so se začeli dogajati. Their lives were transformed. Življenja so bila skrbenjena. The world was changed upside down. Vse je bilo spremenjeno. In the space of one generation, ampak v razmaku ene generacije, the few disciples moved from Jerusalem, so je nekaj učencev iz Jeruzalema, to Rome, pošlo v Rim, from a small group, mekna skupina, they became the fire of the empire, je postala, mekna skupina je postala ogen celega cesarstva, Nothing to defeat them. Nič jih ni moglo poraziti. No persecution. Ne preganjanje. No limitations. Ne omejevanje. Nothing to stop them. Nič jih ni moglo ostaviti. That's what happens to us if we are full of the Holy Spirit. To se zgodi, kaj da smo polni svetega duha. Once I was in Nigeria. Enkrat si bil v Nigeriji. And there was this archbishop. In tam je rek načko. And he told me one thing. In povedal mi ena stvar. He told me on Pentecost. Povedal mi je na Vinkošti. Peter Peter gave one sermon. Je dal eno pridigo. And 3000 people were converted. In 3000 ljudi se je spravrnilo. I preached 3000 sermons. Jaz pa pridiga 3000 pridig. And not even one person is converted. Niti ena se niče spravrnilo. Why? Zakaj? Because if there is not the Spirit, there will be no power. So if we open, if we open this book and, and read it with devotion, we could, it's like you are in a stuffy room, no good air. Promislite, ste kot v sobi, kjer je te veliko ljudi in sve zrek. And you open the windows. In odprete okno. And the light will come and fresh air will come. In ljud pride notri in sve zrek. For example, the today's first lesson from the church. Danasna prva, prvo berilo je iz cerke in drugije. Today it was from Acts chapter 19. Iz apostolske dela 19. When Paul went to Ephesus, ko je Šupavel v Ephesus. And he met the Christians there. In je tam srečo Hristjana. And he could see something that 
was not functioning well in their life. I ne videl, da nekaj so drugače, nekaj ne, ni prav v njihovem življenju. And he asked them this question. In jih je obražal to vprašanje. Have you received the Spirit? Ste prejeli duha? And they asked him, what is the Spirit? Ali pa se so vprašali, kaj je to sveti duh? Nobody talked to us about the Holy Spirit. Nišče nam o njem ni govoril. And Paul prayed on these Christians. In Pavel je na to moral nad temi kristjani. And after his prayer, in pa njegovi molitvi, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. So bi napolnili sveti duha. And they started speaking in tongues. In so začeli govoriti in jezik. And praising God. In staviti Boga. So we have to go back to this book, to the Acts of the Apostles. Tako da se moramo pogoditi k te knjigi, k apostolskim delom. If we want to see our lives in you, Če želimo videti našo življenje skrbenjeno. Če želimo videti našo cerku skrbenjeno. What happened to these apostles when they received the Holy Spirit? Kaj se je zgodilo s temi apostoli, ki so skrbeli Svetega Duha? What happened to them when they were baptized with the Holy Spirit? Kaj se je zgodilo, ko so bili krščeni Svetim Duhom? First of all, najprej, they became people of prayer. Postali so ljudje molitve. One of the greatest problems that we have in our lives, and of the greatest problem of which we have in our life, in our relationship with God, in our relationship with each other, in our relationship with each other, is when we stop praying. Praying. Yet, when we stop, we stop praying. The first thing that the Spirit does to us, the first thing that the Spirit does to us. Is that we see the importance of prayer in our life? Je da spoznamo pomen molitve v našem življenju. Is that the Spirit changes our heart of stone? Ker duh spremeni naše kamito srce. He will change our look, lukewarm, our cold attitude. In bo spremenil našo obračnost, našo vlast. Towards others. Do drugih. Towards God. Do Boga. That's what happens to us when we open our lives to the Holy Spirit. To se zgodi, kada vprema svoje življenje Svetemu Duhu. I was, I would receive this experience of this Spirit many, many years ago. Mi sem sprejel to izkušnjo Krsta Svetemu Duhu pred mnogimi leti. I was telling them, ravno so my friends here, govoril moj prijatelje tu, that I have an application on my mobile. Da imam na svojo mobilico aplikacijo, It's like a countdown. It's like a clock. Je to tura, ki je neprestano očteva. And you can put the day that and the hour that you were born. In the kolonta da ste dani tura, ko ste bili rojeni. And it will tell you every second how much time do you have in your life. In ba bo vsako trenutku povedala, koliko časa imate v življenju. How many days? And how many hours? And how many minutes? And how many seconds? Minute, second. Is your life? Yes, it was your life. Or you can put the day that you were married. Are you able to put that to the most recent one? And you will know seventy thousand days. Because the weather is seventy nine thousand days. Eighteen hours. Eighteen hours. Thirty seven minutes. In seven and thirty seven minutes. And I have this application, and I put the time. When I was baptized in the Spirit, in the same topic, I just said another just for some discussion with the Lord. I was baptized in the Spirit. This discussion with the Lord. Fourteen thousand, ten thousand, nine hundred and ninety-six days ago. The next to the very shares of me. Yeah. So it means forty-one years and some days. So probably ten or twelve or thirteen or fourteen. What happened on that time in my life? Kaj se je takrat zgodilo v moje življenje? Was I a Christian? Sem bil kristjan? Yes. Ja? Did I go to church? Sem hodil v cerku? Yes. Sometimes. Včasih. On a funeral. Na pogrebe. Or when there is a feast, I will. Ali kada je bil praznik v cerku? Maybe on Christmas, I will go to mass. Za Božič maši. Yes, I was a good Christian. Ja, bil si dober kristjan. I haven't killed anybody. I covered my snowbill. I paid my taxes. That was a small token. Sort of. Said, "Dear Lord, I was a good man." 
Ты сидовый человек. What happened in my life on that day? Как бы сердце не тогда разбудилось мной. 13 May 1978. 13 May. 13 May. 70. 80. At 9 o'clock in the morning. When they were praying for the Holy Spirit, and I was there, and my life changed upside down. Because I experienced for the first time in my life that the Father loves me, that I don't have to be good so that The Father in heaven will love me. Then we need to be lower than in our children they seek you. I don't have to do the things of the law. In Dimitri was born in that postale. God will love me. Bog me go send. God loves me. Bog me you. Even if I was the only person in this world, in God loves me. In tutti i cittadini che non è stato Bog me you. And we cannot understand this. We cannot experience it. We can read all the books about God's love. We can know it up here. But if we don't have it here, if we don't experience it in our heart, it counts for nothing. But when the Spirit comes, the first thing He will show us is the way that God loves us. I, in my life, I had a very terrible experience. When my father died 41 years old, as I was still 15 years old, And we had, I had four other brothers and sisters. In Belsen, she stayed in Prague and sisters. Younger than me. Nice to be us. My mother was still thirty-eight. My mother was also thirty-eight. And one big question that came into my life. In a very casual way, so much of it. How can God be love? To whom I want to call you, Belsen? To permit something so bad happen to me. That I don't want to see that I could have got this good deal. And to my family. In my religion. So, in my heart, I had so bitterness, so much bitterness. In the soul, such as the Catholic or Greek order, against God, против Бога, because I didn't experience His love for me. Can we say that we see the God in the face of man? And nobody could change this idea of God. In the church, no more has permanent the idea of Бога. It was only at that minute. A pak šele od té minuty, that God gave me His Spirit, kdy mi Bůh dal jeho věga ducha. And like a flash, I could see that He loves me even in that situation. In God, blízk jsem na kovidu, že mě lůbí kruh té moje situace. Even in the midst of the pain that I had in my life. Tudy do sředí bolčíme, když jsem měl žulem. Even in the midst of the protest that I was living. Towards God. In sredi tega mojega življenja, ki sem se opiral Bogu. And maybe it was a long time ago that you experienced the love of the Father in your heart. In mogoče bo že dolgo tega, da ste očutili očetovo ljubezni v svojem srcu. Maybe you forgot that God loves you. Mogoče ste pozabili, da vas Bog ljubi. That God is madly in love with you. Da je Bog naro Saint Catherine of Siena used to say about God. Saint Catherine of Siena said about God, "Your love is a crazy love. Why you do that? You know that you do that. You are a mad person." She used to tell God, "This is not that you do that. They go to the Lord. You love us so much. 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 Have this experience in your life. Maybe you forgot that God loves you. 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 Maybe you for
You cannot become a good Christian. La morte per cristiano o cristiano. It's only by the love of God. Le tue cose le ho viste. I tell you another story. Ho vedo un po' un tuo sogno. Now, my wife is here. Ma la gente è somewhere. È chi è? And we have, so I have three daughters. E i mamma tre cere. And one wife. In a room. At home, four women. Spiri gente che non. And then we had another son. We adopted another son. <laughs> and all those of you parents who have teenage children will understand this. We had one of our daughters. Uh, when you entered into her room, she was like 16. You, did, you think you entered into three poly today? You think that you have entered into Tripoli or Beirut? Aha, da ste, mislite da ste stupili u Tripoli u Zerovo, Beirut, Bojno Moče. All things on top of each other. Vse stvari so bile razgatane, ena na drugi. Clothes on the floor. Obleke na tle. Books on the bed. Knjige na posteli. Smell. Vonj. And I used to go and say to my daughter, Can you please clean your room? And she would say, No, this is my room. I do what I want. Have you ever been told by your children these words? So I used to go and tell her, Listen. So I used to go and tell her, Listen to me. If you are not going to clean your room, by one hour, you will not get pocket money. And she used to be shout at me. You are so hard with me. I will say, no, you will not have pocket money if you don't clean your room. And so she would clean her room. In to je tako postavila svoje sobe. Another week will pass. In a minute, in a minute. And again, this room is all upside down. In ta soba je zopet usarbana na okro. And so I go, clean your room. In je zopet rečem, počisti svoje sobe. Or help your mother just for one hour. Ali pomagaj svoje materi, tudi če samo za eno uro. If you don't do that, če ti ga ne stojiš, you will not go out on Saturday evening and start crying and shouting at me. You are cattivo. Cattivo. Very bad. You are very bad. This is a lost love story. But she would obey. Why? Because she was afraid that I will not give her pocket money or I will let her go out on Saturday. And this was going for so many months. <coughs> Once I came back <coughs> from work and I see my daughter not only she has put her room in order but also she was cleaning the windows. <coughs> she was washing the floor. And I was so happy. <laughs> and I went to Mary. In some shop and I said, you see, God answers our prayer. <laughs> God is great. He answers our prayer. <laughs> and Mary told me, maybe God answers our prayers. <laughs> but she is cleaning the room. Because she is going to bring her boyfriend at her room. <laughs> <laughs> we all laugh. <laughs> but many times that's the way that we relate with God. Uh, but we all laugh. But many times that's the way that we relate with God. 
we relate with God because we are afraid. We are afraid that we go to hell. We are afraid that something bad will happen to us. In Boima said the Sana was good in the first day. But if we discover his love for us, we do, we do the same things. Like my daughter was cleaning her room. Not because she was afraid of me. But she was in love. But because she was in love. And love changes us. God's love will change us. God's love will change our relationship with Him. And our relationship with each other. I don't know any of you have, have been to Egypt. Is there anyone who has been to Egypt? Okay. I've been to Egypt. No, yes, I've been to Egypt. And in Egypt, there are 80 million people. In uh, Egypt, there are also 10 million people. 10 million of them are Christians. In the set, in the set, in the 10 million. 10 million, yes. The set million are Christian. 70 million are and so Christians are in a minority. And sometimes they have to suffer because in they are in a minority. Now, I've been to church there and I noticed something. That all the Christians there in the church, they have a tattoo. A small tattoo of the cross here. Make a tattoo. All Christians. Are Christians. You see tattoo. A cross. Christians. Tattoo on the And they do it. This tattoo. In only see the idol that they wear. Now, in our country, when we have a little girl, when we have a little baby girl. Uh, we take them, we take her and we make a hole for the earring. But there in Egypt, they will take even the kid of three months to make the tattoo of the cross. It's a sign to a snack. A sign that they are Christians. Christian. And nowadays, because of the security, in they will not let you into the church if you don't have the tattoo. That's the sign that you are Christian. And some of them, they do it also here. Not to be afraid to show that they are Christians. Many times they have to suffer. Persecution. Or they don't give them a government job. Or let them go to study at the university. But they are proud that they are Christian. Because they are marked with the cross. We don't have to make a tattoo become Christians. Because what the Spirit does to us, He makes a tattoo in our heart. And that tattoo is the love of God. By this they will know that you are disciples. Jesus told us. Jesus said, by the love that you have for one another. We cannot love one another. We cannot forgive one another. If we don't 
not have the power of the Spirit. Once I was giving that talk to parents of, in a parish, and at the end of the talk, a woman came to speak to me. And she told me, can I share with you my testimony? And she told me, my husband left me. And he went to live with another woman. And he left me with a, a boy of 12 years old. And she told me one day, my son came to me and told me, Mom, can I stop going to school? And his mother asked him, why do you want to stop going to school? And he told her, I want to go and work and get a job. And he told him, she told him, but why do you want to get a job? And he told her, Mama, I want to earn money. Because his father had left more than and went to Australia with this other woman. And go and find my father. In Bomshovi Nashu Cheta. And then we'll kill him. In the Bombu. For the bad thing that he did to us. And this woman, you know what she answered her son? In this category, the Jenska Sinum. My son, she told him. Rekamoya Mosin. No, ne. We don't have to hate your father. We treba da sorazimo tvojega očeta. No, we don't hate your father. Ne, ne sorazimo tvojega očeta. We forgive him. Odpustimo, odpuščamo. And we pray for him. I molimo za njega. And God will answer our prayer. I Bog bo uslišao našo molitev. And one day your father will come back. I nekega nebo oče prišao nazad. Now this woman, ta ženska, when she went to bed in the evening and saw the empty side of the bed, probably every evening she was hurt. But then I told her, from where did you get this faith? From where did you get this power to forgive? For the bad thing that your husband has done to you and to your son. And she told me, I spent so many years struggling. I was hating him so much. That it was even affecting my health. But one day I went to a life in the spirit seminar. And they prayed for me. And I received the gift of the Spirit. And by time I was healed. And now I had the power to forgive my husband. And every day I pray for my husband. This is what the Spirit does to our life. I don't have the power to forgive. You don't have the power to forgive. But with the power of the Holy Spirit, God will give us the strength to love even our enemies. One last point I would like to share with you. What happened to the disciples? 
is they start breaking bread together. Jedne so začeli lomiti kruh skupaj. It's the Eucharist. To je Eucharistija. It's their, it was their, became their nourishment. To je postala njihova hrana. Every time we receive the Eucharist, vsak tič, ko sprejmemo Eucharistijo, we receive the power of the Spirit. Sprejmemo moč duha. There was a big church father who used to say, Bil veliki crkveni oče, ki je ponovadni rekel, when we receive the Eucharist, kada sprememo Eucharistijo, we get drunk with the Spirit. Smo pijani od Svetega Duha. We are not worthy to receive the Eucharist. Nismo vredni, da bi spremili Eucharistijo. We are not worthy. How many times in your life Koliko krat v svojem življenju have you received the Eucharist? Ste sprejeli Eucharistijo? Maybe 15,000 times, 20,000 times. 50 tisoč krat, 20 tisoč krat. I can give you an assurance jaz sem lahko da vam zagotovila that there was not one time da ni bilo niti enkrat that you deserve to receive the Eucharist. Ko bi vi zaslužili Eucharistijo, da bi opravili. We are not worthy to receive the Eucharist. Nismo vredni. But that's why we pray, Lord, only say the word, and I shall be with you. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Zato rečemo, gospod, red cele besedo, ki nas zdravljamo. But I will be here. In, ampak jaz bom verjel. That's the spirit working in our life. To je, kar tu bila v našem življenju. Unfortunately, we receive the Eucharist and nothing changes. Why? Is it that Jesus there? Is it not Jesus in the Eucharist? Or is the problem with us? Because we are, don't approach the Eucharist with the Spirit da pristopimo z dupom v Eucharistiji. So, before receiving the Eucharist, tako da pred spremete Eucharistijo, pray to the Holy Spirit, molite k Svetemu Duhu, so that you will experience Jesus in the Eucharist. Da boste v njeri izkusili Jezusa. And also all the other sacraments. In tudi vseh drugih sakramentih. How many of us are afraid to go to confession? Koliko izmed vas se boji ti spojeni? Meni, I had a privilege in my life. V svojem življenju je pan privilegij. To be present for a private mass with John Paul II. Da sem bil na privatni naši za Jano za Pavlom II. For four or five times. Šeterkrat ali petkrat. I still cherish that those moments of seeing the Pope ascend and now praying. In še vedno hranimo svoje srcu to podobo Pape Žaki Moli. I remember we were about 30 people. Bilo nas je okrog 30. And we entered in smo vstupili this little chapel. To majhno kapelo. And the Pope was there praying. In Pape Žaki Moli. And then he started the Mass. In da to je začel našal. And I remember on one occasion. In eni priložnosti se spomnim. I had this beautiful experience from the Lord. Mel sem res čudovito izkušnjo od gospoda. Seeing the Pope. Videl sem Papeža. Saying the opening prayer of the Mass. Ki je začel za otvoritve na molitvijo. Where he makes the confession. Ko je na vrsti spoved. I am a sinner. Sem zagrešnik. So pray for me. Jaz sem grešnik, zato bolj. You know the prayer at the beginning of the Mass. Molitev na začetku Mase. And I remember God giving me this word. In spomni se, da mi je Bog spregovoril. If this holy man, če ta sveti mož, is confessing in front of everybody, spoveduje svoje grehe pred vsem. That he is a sinner da je potem, da je grešnik. How much more I am a sinner? Koliko bolj sem jaz grešnik? 
We are all sinners. My usy smogeš. But with the power of the Holy Spirit. Abo ako smo čuli svijete da duha. We are on our way to become saints. Smo na poti k svetosti. We are on our way to become holy persons. Smo na poti da bi postali sveti ljudi. And that will bring me to another point that I've already mentioned. In to me prepare druge točke ki se nažalimo. We cannot receive the Spirit. Ne moramo prijeti duha. If we don't pray for the Spirit. Če ne molimo za sveti duha. We cannot receive the Spirit if we don't have a desire to receive the Spirit. Ne moramo prijeti duha, če si ne želimo prijeti duha. If we don't have that deep desire to receive what God wants to give us. Če nimamo globoke želje, da izprejeli to, kar nam Bog hoče dati. So I invite you, tako vas povabim, during these days, v teh dneh, to have a thirst for the Spirit. Da ste res krepenite, da ste ženje po Svetem Duhu. To have this hunger, da imate lako to, to receive a Holy Spirit, da bi prejeli Svetega Duha. So that He can show you the love of the Father. So that He will give you Jesus in your heart. So that He will give you a new revelation of the Eucharist. And the sacrament of reconciliation. And I will give you one guarantee. God will answer your prayer. Bog bo slišal vaša molitva in bo make you a new person. In vas bo naredil novo vsega. Amen. Amen. Na sledeči imamo zadnjo srečanje na Bikošti ponedeljek, ko zaključimo pravzapo z Emislavijo in tudi zagape. Torej, da ste nič bomo imeli na koncu, da bomo če malo krajše, bomo imeli tudi agape. Zato vas prosim, da tudi mogoče kakšno maleko spremenite s seboj, da se podelimo, da se poveselimo, pogovorimo. Torej, da se poveselimo na duho in na telesu. Tako, sedaj pa, kaj da bo bolj molitev.
kot za okrajilo, ali da pa posto ne bo za nas.
Še kdo ni, je probabno naprej na molitev. Tudi če še kdo ne razbi, ki bi bil odlečen, pa želi, probabno naprej, da bomo včasih zdaj hočeli tudi na molitev.
pozdravljali s tako čudovito slovenijo s katedrala skozi večer, tako je res posrečno hvala na mladini. Hvala gospodu za vse, kar delam med nami. Torej, lahko noč naj bo blagosloven delan in veselo praznovanje, res milosti polno praznovanje Binkošti, mi pa se vidimo v naslednji ponedeljek v zaključku. In ne bo zaklj na ga. Ja, še ena stvar, prenovo v duhu, slovenska prenovo v duhu v nedeljo, torej na Binkošni dan popovdne v treh, presetem Jožepu pripravila praznovanje, tako da ste tudi povabljeni tjani praznovanje na stavljenje in duhovni legor, ki ga priprava Pater Mio. Tako da tudi v nedeljo popovdne na Binkošni ste vabljeni, kdo lahko, da bo dalšo, da bo se pri Jožepu.